I'm cheering for a lockout right now, and then I could be a scab player. No. 36-year-old Mark Greeb will never set foot on an NFL field, but he's got a football resume that would make any player jealous. James Rowe in motion. James Rowe, the intended receiver. Greeb was at the top of his game with the San Jose Sabercats when the AFL shut down following the 2008 season. I was devastated because I didn't really see it coming back. You know, imagine you're you're a sportscaster and they say, well, you know, not only are we going to, um, you know, shut down Channel 5, but we're going to shut down all sports stations and we're not covering it anymore. Find another job. And that's just what Greeb did. He became a high school biology teacher in Irvine. Somebody will, you know, would find a you know, clip of me on YouTube or, or something, and, and, and so then they'd come in, hey, did you know Mr. Green plays football? You know, and then some of the people would go, oh, wow, yeah, and then other people, they don't care. And so that would kind of, that, that would give you some street cred for a week or so, <laughs> and then it, then it kind of wears off until, you know, if your lesson sucks, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are, you know. I mean, they, they, I, was, I was laughing watching... Uh, Tony Danza on this A&E show try to come into the classroom and teach English for a year. It is hard. While he's glad to be back on the field, Grebe is critical of the Arena League's new modest business model. Long gone are the league's glamour owners. We've moved on past Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi and all the rest of the, you know, the fame crowd have moved on and now it's just the people that really love the game and want to be here. And, you know, I say that maybe with a little bit of bitterness because it's some of those guys that helped fold the league in the first place. You have to make the product primary. And so in some ways, my argument is that um, maybe we need to, to spend a little more money on making it um, more sustainable for players. The Cats plan on remaining in San Jose for the long term. As for their veteran quarterback? As is well documented by Brett Favre, you, you take it on a year-to-year -year basis. Hopefully I don't do quite as much flip-flopping as him.